So whenever you work with 3D models inside of Paint 3D, you may want to export it into different applications like Microsoft Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, or even Maya. In order to do that, let us uh, grab a 3D shape right here, like this man over here, and then just grab it up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple texture with glasses and so forth here. So I'm going to edit color, uh, put a yellow color on him, and then I'm going to add in um, um, a bunch of stickers over here. For example, for I'm going to add in an eye, just like this, uh, the glasses. I'm just going to drag it out over here so that a simple texture is seen, just like this. And over here for the mouth, I'm going to grab this happy face right here and then just drag it out. So you get the idea, you can add in the texture as much as you want. After I do that, I may want to export this out so that I can import it into different applications. So in order to do this, I, I can go to menu right here and then in the menu, I can go to uh, save as. You can see that you can save it as an image itself, which is a plain 2D image. So I'm just going to click this, click image, and you can see that I can save this as a pixel. You can choose the pixel right here. You can either choose it to save it as a PNG image, a JPZ, or even a video file for that matter. I'm going to choose JPZ because that's the most common format used for web formatting. And I may want to increase the within height of this. So uh, this is 800 pixels at the moment. I want to say, let's say I want 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels right here. So 1000 pixels by 1000 pixel. There you go. So it is locking the aspect ratio as you can see. So I'm just going to leave it as it is because I do not want to destroy its proportion. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this out right here and I'm going to save it in my desktop. So I'm going to uh, create a new folder right here and then inside this new folder, I'm going to save it. I'm going to give it a name called JPEZ test right here and I'm going to save that out. So now once I go to desktop, you can see that the file is there. There's the new folder right here. I'm going to open that up and there you go. You can see that the file is there in JPEZ format. It's a plain 2D image as you can see and I can actually maximize it and this is not 3D but a plain 2D image. So I can zoom it in as you can see and this comes out as an image, a pixelated image. Now I can also save this as a 3D file. So that allows me to uh, import it in Paint 3D as a 3D file later on, or I can ex uh, import it in other applications, which we are going to see in further lessons. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into menu. I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to choose 3D model right here. So once you do that, you can see that you can save this as a 3D model. I'm going to save it in my desktop in the new folder itself. So I'm just going to go into new folder and here, I'm simply going to choose FBX because that is the most common format that is used by other applications as well. So you're not just limited to uh, Word or Excel files such as those. So over here, I'm simply going to say this is my 3D Paint 3D model. So Paint 3D model over here and I'm going to save this out. So save it and it is saving the file as a 3D format right there. So once it completes saving, you'll be able to see the file over here inside of new folder. You can see that paint 3D model is here. It is saving it. So it will save all the textures as well. And you can see that the paint 3D model F FBX has been um, exported just like that. And you can import this out, import this model out now in other applications. So that is how you can export the model uh, from paint 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.